G'day there, Brad Perry here again from Brad Sound Company. We're in Darwin in the north of Australia. Now today we're going to have a look at wiring up subwoofers. In this particular case we've got PVQW series. Uh, double 18 subwoofers, 3200 watt program, 6400 watt peak. We're also going to have a look while we're here at bi-amping mid-high cabs. In this case PVQW. QW2 15 inch woofer and a waveguide horn up there. We're going to have a look now how we set all the wiring up from the amplifiers through to the back of the loudspeakers. Okay, now the two most important things we must consider in wiring up subwoofers. First of all, fairly simple, is power. You want as much power from your amplifier to reach your subwoofers. The best way to do this is to minimise the resistance in your cables. Now in Australia, we use a metric system and we use 2.5mm wire. Uh, equipment in the US would be 10 wire gauge. Now, the larger diameter of the wire, the larger cross section of the wire, and the shorter the cable, the less resistance you're going to get. That's fairly simple. The next very important consideration for subwoofers is damping factor. Now, for those of you who are probably not familiar with Pro Audio Speak, I'll see if I can explain damping factor a little simpler. It's a 15 inch woofer here. Now, if you consider an automobile driving down the road, hits a bump in the road. The springs in your suspension are going to soak up that bump and as you go over the bump the springs will expand and should theoretically level out the car. That's assuming you have very efficient shock absorbers or efficient damping in your car. Now that's very similar to the concept of a subwoofer. You hit the kick drum, you see the, uh, the cone moves, but when you hit the kick drum you want instant in and out. You don't want the cone bouncing along well after the kick drum hit. So the best way to do it is minimise the damping issues. Now I'll show you how to do this. First of all you need good quality amplifier. And the second thing is to have one pair of wires for each subwoofer going all the way back to the amplifier channel. Daisy chaining is not on, never daisy chain your subwoofers. And the second way to improve your damping factor is the load resistance on the amplifier. When you're running uh, double 18s like these PVQWs, you would normally run 4 ohm load. But if you've got enough amplifiers, you can run one amplifier per box, that is one channel per woofer at 8 ohms, and that gives you very, very good damping, very, very tight base. Okay, so now we're going to have a look how we set up the mid high cabinets for a bi amp configuration. See the bi amp in there, NL4 connection. Now, two wires will go to the mid-range, two wires will go to the high frequency. And that's done from the back of the amplifiers, patch panel, using a socket exactly like that. Two wires mid-range, two wires the high frequency. Why don't we now go and have a look at the amplifiers we're going to use and then we'll have a look at the connections. 
up here, VSX26 loudspeaker controllers. This one here we're using for the mid range and the high, and this controller looks after the bass coming off at 1 0 feed. Here are the amplifiers, they're all PVCS series for the subwoofer, subwoofer, mid range, and the highs. Now, CS4800s, they'll put out 2,040 watts per channel into 4 ohms, or 1,250 watts a channel into 8 ohms. The 2,000 will put 760 into uh, 4 ohms, and 490 into 8 ohms. Now, Okay, we'll have a look at the back of the amplifier rack now and see how we've got the base loudspeakers connected up. All our connections we use are with banana plugs, gold plated, heavy duty, very, very good connectors. Shall we have a look at this one which we've previously loosened? And you'll see each side of the banana plug, the positive and the negative, has two wires. These wires will be going all the way back to the speaker cabinet, one wire, one pair of wires to each woofer. That's done through these sockets here, just like that, one pair of wires there, one pair of wires there. Plug in speaker cable and off to the speaker cabinet, of course with another speaker on the other end. Now as I explained earlier about running at 8 ohms giving you a superior damping factor. Now with the PV amps, as long as the amps are set in parallel, we can connect directly into channel A, into the subwoofer, and channel A circuit will go to one subwoofer, channel B through the lower two wires will go to the other subwoofer. We get very, very tight bass and a good sound. Okay, we'll have a look now at the mid-range and high frequency amplifiers. Again, you see we're using banana plugs. This is the CS2000 for the high frequency. Again, you'll see two wires of each size of the banana plug and the same thing with the mid-range frequency. Now they're going up into these sockets here. The high frequency will be going into plus 2, minus 2, and the mid-range frequency will be connected to the plus and minus 1 connectors. Similar to this one here, mid-range, high-range, connect into any one of these. Again, mid-range, high-range, and through to your bi amplifier in on your loudspeakers. Okay, well that's about the basics for wiring up loudspeakers. So Brad from Brad Sound Company, signing out, bye for now.